Hi, this is Firestarter and welcome to my review of the Rider and Monster series Zolda Kamen Rider Zolda and we have here Magnu Giga and the Kamen Rider itself now uh, let me discuss first the Rider the Rider has really great articulation points and probably yeah, is the base for SH regards or Shukaku Henshin's the only lacking in this figure is an ab joint here and the problem with the feet articulation is that when you try to split the legs in different various poses it tends to fall off but not now <laughs> it's a miracle oh yeah and some of the details that you can see is also um, seen on the series like some of the slots here at the front and at the back but the difference with the with the Rider and Monster series and the SH Regards, you can see all the bolts that were used to connect every single piece in creating Kamen Rider Zolda. Well, Kamen Rider Zolda does isn't Kamen Rider Zolda with that, without his Magna Visor. The Magna Visor is quite good in terms of a mode, but it lacks paint apps just like your regular SH regards nevertheless this is a nice piece to connect with and you can just open the hand of Tom Rider Zolda and just lock it in place and you have here a shooting Kamen Rider cool see and he comes with this I'll show you later it's a stand to hold something but that's something I'll show you in just a bit. The package also comes with three cards. We got here the shoot vent. Shoot vent should have like two levels. One is for the Giga Cannon and the other one is for the other shoot vent. And we have here the final vent card. Which is different from what he uses in the show. And the guard vent. The guard vent just says that uh, it uses two shields for the shoulders but it does have another feature to complete the guard vent now let's move to Magno Giga Magno Giga has nice articulation points for a mecha of this size especially if you are really familiar with um, the show you know that this Magno Giga this contact mon monster doesn't have much to do but to shoot and kill other riders in the show now all the parts of this figure has different set of responsibilities for the common rider i'll show you how first a strike vent using the head of Magno Giga. It is simple to use by moving the horns downwards, making the head invisible on view. The pegs of the arm, however, does not hold in place. This part is useless. Ah. Next is the shoot vent, featuring the limbs of Magna Giga by taking out from its torso. Folding its legs are easy and the cannons are nicely hidden from its shins that provides a really nice touch. Because of its size, you are forced to split the legs and bend the knees to the rider The second shoot then forces you to separate the front and back torso. Doing this is a hassle as the latches hold these are ridiculously tough. It will really have you absolutely frustrated. Then stretch the arm sideways. Using this with a rider poses a weight issue, so a stand is conveniently included to hold the rear of the cannon. It takes a few tries to use the Giga Launcher, 
on its mode the right way. Guard vent is the least exciting of them all. This form uses the kneecaps of Magna Giga and placing them on his shoulders. Then, take the front part of the torso and swivel down the stand. The simplest is the final vent. Plug the Magna Visor at Magna Giga's back, then open the chest and claws to reveal the missiles perfectly hidden. This is one of the forms seen most often on Kamen Rider Ryuki series. As a whole, what did impress me was not the Kamen Rider, but the actual um, contract mon monster that came with the Rider. You might have known right now that um, SH regards Kamen Rider Zolda will be coming soon, but we don't know if it came with a contract monster. Probably it would be like Kamen Rider Oja that didn't have any contract monster with him. So some people or some toy collectors would see it as a lame figure. But with Kamen Rider Zolda, you can use Magno Giga from Rider and Monster Series and pose him with your SH figure arts Kamen Rider Zolda. Just giving you a closer look on how this figure would be great sitting side by side with your SH figure arts counterpart. So if you want to know the possibilities for this figure, do check out the photos at the end of the video and do subscribe to my blog spot for the full written review. And don't forget to click subscribe on this channel for more reviews, story reviews, and what have you here on this channel. So this is Firestarter. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next review.